Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tinkro and welcome back to another episode out here on the Afterlife server. Now, last episode we have been actually working on this part of our base, right? Which um, is looking a little bit like pineapple on pizza, right? It doesn't particularly fit in. I mean, I suppose the gardens don't either to this entire uh, futuristic looking or at least semi-futuristic looking uh, base, right? But um, like pineapple on pizza, I think it actually is pretty good, right? And if anyone tells you or if you're lying to yourself that you don't like pineapple on pizza, then you gotta wake up. I mean, the sweetness of the pineapple creates this just beautiful ensemble with the saltiness of the pizza, right? And the carbs of the bread, so... I think it is all looking pretty good as a whole unit, right? Whereas maybe it wouldn't have if they were all separate. Um, there we go, Discord. Um, but yeah, so what I want to do this episode is continue working on our base, um, our beautiful pizza, if you will. Um, cause last episode I did say I wanted to like build like, um, this area over here and we hadn't done that, so... Suppose, why don't we take a trip down to spawn and get some terracotta from Ash's shop. Um, we have our, yeah, we have our goodie box in there. And yeah, let's do that. Ah, yes, spawn. Um, it honestly is probably my favorite part of the server. I mean, spawn is literally the shopping district, right? Which is the absolute economic center of the server, right? And it's absolutely wonderful. I know there was a lot of Christmas decorations, like there was a lot of snow here. Uh, like that still is on the bank, right? But a lot of it is slowly being um, removed, so that's pretty cool. Now, will we make it? Yes, we will. All right, so we need... What's this? Oh, this... Okay, that's kind of interesting. Now, we need cyan, terracotta, which he has a fair bit of. Um, I don't actually know how much this costs. Does it say anywhere? This is, what, five, right? Die terracotta, so one diamond per stack. Brilliant. So, that's three, four, five. And we'll put it... Oh, I guess we'll put it here. There you go, Art. There's some diamonds for you. And yeah, so I'm gonna return to beige. And then I'm gonna get some building done. Ouch. And, um, well, I'll meet you guys back once we have uh, managed to do that. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have managed to finish that little area that I said I wanted to. And, um, yeah, so this is kind of what it's looking like. God dang it. You know... Putting um, berry bushes here was actually a pretty bad idea now that I think of it. Um, that might be not. I mean, they give enough color, so I guess they weren't. They aren't. Um, but yeah, so this is what this little wall is looking like. I mean, we've got a lot of like sea lanterns there, more sea lanterns over there. And yeah, all in all, I'm quite happy with how it looks. We have this like interesting color line up there. We had some. You know, spare red, uh, what are those called? Nether bricks, right? So I decided to add it over there. I feel like it looks pretty cool. Um, but the main thing I want to talk about are the hologram things that I have over here, right? So, I don't know, like, if you look, like, at movies like Blade Runner or TV shows like The Expanse or even, like, the Hunger Game books, like, holograms are, like, really futuristic looking, right? So... Um, the symbols don't really mean anything, because, I mean, we don't have that much space to work with, but I feel like they turned out okay. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with it. And, um, oh yeah, that's actually one other thing. So this actually blocks off the creeper farm, and even though the lighting looks kind of close, it doesn't actually affect the spawns. Uh, so that's actually pretty good. So, I mean, we are slowly, you know, enveloping this creeper farm in, I guess, build, right? So that the sunlight can't naturally get to it. So um, that is something I'm quite happy about. And um, yeah, well, I guess we also have this thing over here. I've been um, started, I've started working on this part over here too, right? So we definitely have more to build over here. As I said, I wanted a, like a large tower or something over there and more stuff. Um, but I also want stuff over here, because this thing's looking pretty plain as it is right now. So, what I'm thinking is maybe we make, like, pipes over here. We got, like, maybe we put, like, solar panels over here. Maybe, like, a communication tower, kind of like the one we have in the jungle that way. Uh, maybe some of those holograms would actually look pretty good if we built them maybe over here. I feel like that would look decent enough. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of, like, the plan um, for what I want to do this episode. Is kind of finish this area up. 
Uh, I've actually still been gathering resources for the interior. Um, I actually managed to build it on the creative server and it looks really good in my opinion, but it does require um, a fair bit of resources that I don't actually have on hand. So I thought we could use some of the resources I do have, right? So um, yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like. Um, one other thing is I want to use some glazed terracotta. I really want to use like every single type of glazed terracotta. So hopefully we can kind of integrate it into the build uh, or the design that we're doing right now. I feel like that would be pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to keep on working with that. And I suppose I'll uh, meet you guys once I have something to update you all on. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm actually pretty excited because we managed to get a fair few bit of work done. So as you can see, um, yeah, what we had before was just this like basic structure over here. And I have some pretty wacky ideas. So this is looking kind of equally as wacky. We have like this like little pipe systems going on over here. We have these like, um, I, I want to say antennas and like receivers and stuff like a whole bunch of satellite dishes over here because I really want this area to kind of be like the main, I guess like communications area of our base, right? So this is kind of what it's all looking like. Um, it's looking pretty cool if you ask me. We got like, um, yeah, I mean, just a whole bunch of like antennas, communication stuff and things you would find on roofs. Um, over here, I actually have like some turbines if I can get up here. All right, let's try this again. No rocket elytra. Ha, easy. So yeah, we have like some turbines going on over here. I feel like they look okay. I mean, I guess they'd look better like while you're flying up above. Um, we have these things over here, which kind of look like um, the holographic advertisements we have over here. Just decided to put some over there with, of course, the Deep Sea Mining Corporation logo. Um, like little caution sign, I don't know, tsunami warning or something, right? Um, so yeah, all in all, this area is starting to come together, right? I am very happy with it. And like, I can just imagine like a big tower over here, kind of overlooking all of this. Um, so that is pretty epic, but I have also gone ahead and do, done a bit more work over here. I mean, really, this base is just a whole bunch of bits and bobs, which is fantastic, because once I get bored in one area, we can start working on another different area with like a completely different design. So... This is exactly what we have done over here. And as you can see, I have gone ahead and used some of the light blue glazed terracotta, which is a challenge I said I wanted to put for myself, right? To be able to use some of that in every single part of the build. Uh, so there we have it over here. Um, and yes, yeah, you can see we're slowly encompassing the creeper farm so we don't have to have any ugly roof like jutting out. Um, but yeah, this big area over here, I've actually had a bit of a, I guess, creative genius uh, time in my life because I have come up with this like mural, which in my opinion looks absolutely fantastic. It's gonna be of the nether. And then I'm planning on different parts of the bases have different kinds of murals, uh, which also include glazed terracotta. So it's looking really, really cool. So I'm gonna build that and I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how that looks. Now, you see, I'm not really much of a scaffolding guy, but I do have to say, this has definitely helped out. I mean, so, <laughs> I mean, look at this scaffolding mess. I mean, that's definitely like a bug or something, maybe server connection issues, but um, yeah, I mean, scaffolding can actually be useful. Who would have actually thought? Uh, certainly not me. I mean, scaffolding, in my opinion, was just such a disappointment when it came out, but um. Yeah, so you guys can see that the red glazed haircut actually looks pretty good. It, it, it's a beautiful looking block. Um, so I also have some of uh, this bad boy. And yeah, so this is kind of what it's looking like, right? So this would be like the nether rack from the nether. This would be like the lava falling. And then this would be like the, I guess, the filler. I don't know if that's really the word. Uh, but yeah, here we go. All right. And along these lines. So yeah, I mean, check it out. It's looking pretty cool. And we won't have to see any of these bad boys anymore. Hey, hey, ugly face. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna try to also put some like, um, what are these called? Some end rods that like line up the wall because um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I wanna make sure that this base is pretty much 100% uh, mob proof, right? So that zombies or creepers or skeletons or spiders can't actually spawn in the base. 
I mean, I say that even though there's a farm, but obviously like outside of the farm. So that's why I want to cover this up. That's why I want to make sure that everything is lit up. I mean, we have uh, the sea lanterns there. We have carpet hiding uh, sea lanterns also and and more sea lanterns under those carpets and yeah I mean it's all lit up I mean you can even see sneaky torches uh, that you wouldn't regularly see so, so yeah I'm gonna try to get this done and then we can see what the final Picasso result will look like now if you don't think that this is really freaking cool then honestly I don't know what you're on but I think it looks absolutely fantastic I mean it really all just works out really well, right? I mean, it really does look kind of like a painting or some kind of artwork. So I'm very happy with this. And um, well, I'm very happy with this too, right? So I said I wanted to have some bigger drones going on. And that is exactly what I've built over here, right? So these ones are like, I guess like quadcopters or, or something. Um, and yeah, there we go. The Deep Sea Mining Corporation Aerial Defense Vehicle Osprey, right? So it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so all in all, I am quite happy, and I added a bit more buttons over there, just for a bit more um, detail. I feel like it was looking a little bit too bland, right? So that just adds a little bit of extra spice. And if you're wondering why we don't have connected textures anymore, and why I am playing with fog, which is something I, you know, kind of dislike, just because of how bad it looks in the nether, um, that is because we're no longer using something we're, we're changing mods we're using something called sodium now or something along those lines so that is why things look a little bit different um but yeah hopefully everything should be good and um help with performance of the server so anything that helps with that obviously is a good thing but unfortunately guys i think that is actually where we're going to call it an episode for today so if you guys enjoyed then please do make sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. I want to remind you guys we have a Discord server. And if you are a YouTuber and are a Minecraft YouTuber and you would like to play on the server, then you may do so by joining the Discord link and making an application video. So until next time, guys, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next episode.